YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today, this video is a follow-up to Generator Solar X versus DE, who won. And a lot of you made some comments um, that were warranted, but I'll respond to those comments. So before I do that, first things first. Um, yesterday, I had a wonderful experience. I was invited to a Zoom call in Ghana where they uh, inaugurated a 22 kilowatt PV system that was touted to be the largest residential installation in Ghana. And what um, Professor Dontor from the US, uh, he is an accounting professor at NYU Stern uh, School of Business. Uh, commented that he'd watched my videos and the videos had inspired him and also guided his selection of the Deya Inverter that they used for the house. So I was very, very excited and very, very uh, honored and at the same time hum humbled that these videos actually matter to some people. So back to this. So give me one second because as you can see, the little kittens are ever present and one of them is crying for me so I'll be back in a sec so back to the generator by the way if you recognize this, this is a real jerry can now it's called a jerry can who knows why well during World War II this actually came up the Germans were the ones that invented this they wanted to be able to move large quantities of gasoline as part of their supply chain as their part of their supply chain and this was the best solution they had. And it's called Jerry Can. The Americans copied it, and the Brits to a degree copied it. Jerry, uh, after doing World War, the Germans were referred to as the Jerry's. So that's how come the, that's how the Jerry Can, the Jerry came from the can part. And then the can, of course, you understand what it is. So this is a 20 liter Jerry Can. So back to our generator. So we have been running We've run this for a few days. Initially, we had some challenges getting it to work with our uh, our inverter. The manufacturer commented that the firmware that we had was outdated. We should get the new firmware, enable our generator, and then set the amount of charge we wanted from the generator. We did that. And um, to a degree, it worked but it was limiting what was coming into about 350 watts. You know, some, somewhere around there. So yesterday we asked them again and they gave us a new firmware. And yesterday, even though the batteries were 95%, I was able to push a thousand watts in. So I'm sure below 95%, I push higher numbers, but let's address some of the concerns that many expressed regarding me not being fair and me, th you know, me think, me not giving the day inverters a firm a fair shot so we started install, installing the year very early in 2020 somewhere around june july during the lockdown and um we liked the inverter right of the batch it offered lots of features lots of functions that we we're excited about but one of the things we noticed was it would not work with generators with gasoline generators diesel generators were were no issues but the gasoline ones were an issue and many had mentioned that we had not adjusted the frequency yes we did adjust the frequency we adjusted the frequency to allow from 47.5 all the way to 54 uh, hertz did not make a difference we lowered the voltage all the way down to 170 and went from 170 all the way to 250 that did not make a difference now the reason we didn't pursue it any further was because our customers that had diesel generators didn't have an issue, but all our customers with smaller generators, we just told them it wouldn't work, and it never did. We didn't consult with the manufacturer because we didn't feel it was an issue with generators per se. We just felt it was an issue with the gasoline generators. So we will address it. We'll bring it up. We'll mention it today and see what they say. I'm sure I've mentioned it to them, but nothing came out of it. The biggest challenge we had initially was the auto gen start function where he would uh, ask it to start. The first few inverters we installed, it didn't, it didn't work. 
and when he did it was pretty sporadic he could run for a long time and wouldn't shut off and customers were a little concerned with that so we only installed it for two or three customers and the majority we didn't allow it to we didn't use it so hopefully that answers the question a lot of you had uh, saying that I did not give the day a fair chance we did we tried for over a year uh, once in a while you see a gasoline generator that will allow uh, maybe 50 to 100 watts in charge but it didn't go beyond that so hopefully this is a clarification on the day versus solar x uh, generator part two and hopefully this answers all the questions you had welcome to the folks in ghana um thank you for subscribing i think i picked up about four of you yesterday so i want to say thank you i did not think that i made that much of a difference to people but i'm humbled to know that what i do makes a big difference to many people remember these guys wherever i go they follow say hi say hello say hi this guy's name is topolino Topolino is a little mouse. He's brownie, I guess you can figure out why he's brownie. The big one, his name is Timmy. We're still struggling because we thought he was a girl and then boom, his ball showed up and now he's a, he's a boy. So we used to call him uh, Tiara. My life partner had a pet called Tiara. So we called him Tiara and now his name is Timmy because just staying with the theme of the tea. So if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click subscribe. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.